All right, this problem is solving a rational equation that simplifies to something that's linear. It's a rational equation because you have a fraction with a variable in the denominator. <clears throat> and just like any other equation that has a fraction in it, I would get rid of the denominator. But since our denominator here is an algebraic expression, it's not like, like if the denominator was just a five, I'd multiply both sides of the equation by five to clear out the five. But here my denominator is a w plus four. So I'm gonna have to multiply both sides of the equation by a w plus four. Now what'll happen is on the right side, when I multiply by a w plus four, it's the same thing as a w plus four over one. And then basically this w plus four in the denominator cancels this w plus four in the numerator so that all you're left with is the negative and the four. Technically over one, but I don't really need the over one. So, you know, I really, I don't need him. I just, I just put him there so you can see what the cross canceling was happening, you know. But then on the other side, I still have the negative six and I still have the w plus four. So it's now no longer fractional, but um, I'm gonna have to use the distributive property to clear out these parentheses. So negative six times w is negative six w. And negative six times a, this is really a plus four here, that's gonna change it to a minus 24 equals negative four. And then follow me, cause I run out of room. Um, I want to solve for w. Now there's two things happening to the w. It's being multiplied to a negative six and then there's that minus 24 hanging out with it. I'm gonna to have to get rid of each of those and I'll just do it one at a time. To get rid of the minus 24, I will do a plus 24 because minus 24 plus 24 just cancels it out. But what you do to one side, you gotta do to the other. So on the left side, I'll be left with negative six W. And on the right side, if you have a negative four plus 24, um, these four negatives are gonna cancel out four of the positives and leave you with positive 20. And then um, to solve for W, I am going to divide off the negative six because it's multiplied onto that W. So the opposite of multiplying is dividing. And I'll divide this side by negative six. Negative six over negative six ultimately becomes a one W, which is just W. And since six does not divide into 20 evenly, and over here it says simplify your answer as much as possible. And I can see in my little box here, they've given me the fraction option. I'm just gonna leave this as a negative 20 over six, because it doesn't divide evenly, but I do have to reduce it. And 20 and six are both divisible by two. So I'll divide them both by two and get negative 10 over three. And that's my answer for W.